Are you an artist? And do you feel like tracing is cheating? Let's discuss. So it's been said to me a few times about how I get my lines down when I do my work. And a lot of the time it varies. If I'm doing commission work or I'm doing extremely detailed work like my watches, I tend to get the lines down through the trace down method. And the reason being is because I need accuracy. It's time saving. Then other times I'll freehand it. So it really does depend on the project I'm doing at the time. Now, before we get into this too deeply, can you pop a comment below with just simply yes or no to what you think? Because I'd like to know your opinions before we get started. And then at the end, I'd like you to go back and let me know if that opinion has changed. So let's do this. So to give you a bit of background, I've been doing serious art now for, well, since 2015. And I've always coloured, I've always drawn, I've always traced here and there, and I've always sketched. I did art at school. Um, so ever since I could hold a pencil, I've been doing arty things. When I started again in 2015, I was really keen to learn the art of realism. And part of the art of realism, or hyper-realism, and pet portraits is making sure you get everything down accurately. And that's what I wanted to achieve. Now, before we get into the real main argument of it all, as it does tend to be a bit of an argument, as of course, artists and creatives, we're generally passionate people, and we can be a bit opinionated and sometimes a bit quick to judge. Look up the word camera obscura. Before we even knew what tracing was, the old masters, the old painters, the old scene masters, would use camera obscuras to get their scenes onto their canvas. Did they cheat? Would you say to them that they were cheaters? Now, of course, before we delve in too far, I want to make you aware, I am not for and I'm not against. I use my technique because it's what helps me achieve the end result that I am looking for. If you don't want to use tracing, that's absolutely fine. Nobody is anybody to turn around and say how an artist should and shouldn't achieve their final result. So as I say throughout history and in fact more and more recently research is being done into looking at the old masters paintings, self-portraits and wondering how they depict them so accurately and when I mean accurately I mean if you are to get their picture and you're to scale that picture up everything would be 100% accurate how did they do that? So before your grandparents, your grandparents' grandparents were even a twinkle in your grandparents' 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 eyes, people were tracing. Now it is a frowned upon practice and no practice an artist should do should ever be frowned upon. Art is, is freedom. It's freedom to express. It's freedom to put our emotions on paper. So does it really matter in what way we do it? Certainly for me it doesn't. It's like telling a mathematician he can't use a calculator to do his mathematics. It's like telling an architect that he can't use a ruler, 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 to measure out. It's like telling a builder he can't use a tape measure. Every person has tools to help them and to speed things up. Now when you're a portrait artist like myself and you've got several commissions on the go, you do not have time to spend freehanding everything. And even then, a lot of people don't freehand. They use freehand. They use gridding. Gridding? Is that cheating? It doesn't matter what method you use. As long as you are happy with the outcome of your drawing, your product, your architect plans, whatever it is you're doing, as long as you're happy with the outcome and your client is happy with the outcome. Now, we learn through observation and we learn through practice. And we can do that any time of the day. You're sitting in front of the telly, you get your sketchbook out and you practice. That's fine because you're practicing freehand. Now, just because people trace, it doesn't mean to say they can't freehand. It just means that they need to speed up the process. Now, I'm a mother of two young girls. I am a wife. I am a housekeeper. I am a first aider. I am a businesswoman. And I do not have the time to freehand all of my commissions. 
Now, if you're new to me, you may not have seen some of the watch pictures I have done. And I worked with Bremont on their new supersonic watch that was launched earlier in the year. You can't freehand stuff like that without spending days getting your line work down. Now, I had a really tight deadline and we're talking really tight. So I had to get it done. And we're talking minute detail. If you're not familiar with it, have a look in my time lapses. My watches are in the time lapse. I'm not talking the front, so I'm talking the back. And the Bremont watches are very, very detailed. You've got a mixture of time. Yes, you may have a mixture of skill. You may be an artist just starting out. Don't feel guilty about using a tracing method. If you don't want to use it, absolutely fine. Who's who to tell you what you can and what you can't do. With photorealism, you have to have that 100% accuracy, but that's not all it is because a lot of the skill is in the rendering. It takes skill to learn how to, how to get your contrast correct. And those who follow me and are my Patreons know me dearly enough to know that I will always say, you need to go darker because nobody ever goes darker. Contrast when it comes to getting realism. You have to have it in there, otherwise things don't look 3D. Not only do you have to get your contrast, you have to be able to pick your colours and you have to be able to colour accurately. Now, just because you've traced your lines, if you don't render what you've traced, it's not going to be any good. So there's an awful lot of skill that is in the rendering process and people forget that. People forget it takes huge amounts of skill and knowledge and application to get everything, the right color, the right tones, the right values and the right contrast in the right places because if you put them in the wrong place, it won't look like whoever you're trying to draw and you will fail the lines that you've put down. So don't put so much pressure on yourself with regards to how much you've done with regard to the line work. The rendering is just as important. Now, as artists, we need to learn, we need to observe, we need to practice shaping, we need to practice shading. You know, just because we've put some lines on a piece of paper doesn't mean to say we're gonna be able to do that properly. Draw from life, draw freehand, practice in a sketchbook, but when it comes to doing commissions or large realism portraits, if you want to trace, then trace. Now, Renaissance artists, a bit of history here, used something called cartoons. And what they used to do is before they did their big masterpieces, they would sketch out on a piece of paper what they wanted to draw. They would then cover paper with graphite, lay it in between and trace those images down onto their final piece of paper. Is that cheating? Would you call them a cheater? It's a really, really good discussion to have, but please be mindful about how you say, you know, if you are on the tracing is cheating team, that's fine, you're allowed your opinion. Opinions should be valued, but please just be a bit mindful and maybe a bit sensitive of how you may approach people who are on the team tracing. Every artist has value. Every artist is giving their client something that their client is happy with. What we don't want to do is discourage artists from taking anything further because those artists, maybe their strengths aren't in the line work, but their strengths are in the rendering. That doesn't make them any less of an artist. That's like turning around and saying to an abstract artist, I don't understand what you've painted. Well, I don't understand it, so it's not art. As I say, we're all opinionated, we all have passions and we all like to say what we think. Please be aware of other people's feelings. Now, it's never really offended me because I am a very translucent person. I have given up a lot of my tips, a lot of my tricks and a lot of my methods. My Patreons know how much I give away. If you've ever watched my live feeds on Facebook or even on YouTube, you know how much I give away. And if I can make another artist grow in confidence, and achieve what they want to achieve and make a business out of it, then I've done something good. And if that means that they need to trace, so be it. I really would love to know your opinions now that I've said my opinion, to see if you've not necessarily had a change of heart, but maybe sit on the fence a little bit more. Again, comment down below, maybe comment on the fence, comment on the fence and see if I've changed your mind just even a teeny, teeny, weeny bit. 
it'd be interesting to see and I'm happy to discuss with you. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content of this in the future, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button. That way you get notified when any new videos are up on my channel and I shall see you on the next video. Happy drawing.